This one is a very cool verse. This is the one I was looking forward to sharing on this on this stream. So this is Philippians chapter two, nine and ten. Elohim. So this is good. This is going to be talking about the three tiered system of Yah, Yah's creation. I'll break it down as I read it. Okay. Elohim, therefore, has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name that at the name of Yahshua, every knee should bow. Those in heaven, that's tier number one. Mm -hmm. Those on earth, tier number two. And those under the earth, tier number three. So here's the qu question that's interesting about this verse and similar verses, there's a couple others. Mm -hmm. Who are those people under the earth? Ah, very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that kind of lends itself to the whole hollow earth uh, concept, which I got to tell you, I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, I mean, good grief, the earth is flat. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't have a problem looking at the possibility that that there is a, a there's some existence under the earth because there is a underside. Oh, yeah. Okay? According to the schematic of creation, there is an underside. So, what's under there? That's a good question. So, I I actually learned, was it the first time? Maybe it was like a second confirmation. So, I actually, here's a book suggestion. Let's see if I can get it in there. Confusion in the Cosmos. Have you read this one, brother? No, I have not. Oh man, it's, it's one of my since I, I've read about uh, seven or eight books all the way through since. Okay. Because I'm I'm over, a little over a year, so I, you know I, I watch a ton of YouTube videos. I got a P900 and I've done my own okay. experiment experiments blah blah blah. So that was one, that was my favorite book that I read, and he talked about this verse and a couple of verses similar, and he he talked about underground cities and people living underground and that's how we kind of tied that verse into and he sh he showed a bunch of pictures that have been taken that actually proves it so it's very it's a very interesting concept okay. to research and look into okay so that that's a very cool verse <laughs> yeah really good. really yeah. meditate on and then the next one if you want to grab this one brother taking it okay. to the torah exodus 24 you do not make yourself a carved image or any likeness of that which is in the heavens above or which is in the earth beneath or which is in the waters under the earth. So that that's a similar verse about the three tiers. It just yeah. the, the water under. Yeah. Which is possibly a reference to the great deep, which helped during the flood. There's a lot of water that came from above yep. and from under to flood. Yep. Yep. And it probably probably happened pretty quickly, to be honest, if you think about it. And based on if you read it literally, it was extremely destructive. You oh, know, yeah. a lot of, I mean, because a lot of people say, why aren't there any uh, ruins from that time period? Well, you have basically two pressure systems exploding. OK, so you have the water from from uh, the other side of the dome. OK. And that's coming down. It wasn't just trickles of rain. Matter of fact, if you read about Noah's flood, it never said anything about rain. Okay. The waters came down and then they came up from the deep. So you're talking two extreme pressure systems breaking and they yep. slammed into the earth. We're talking, I mean, can you imagine how that must have sound? <laughs> okay. Boom. Yeah. You would think a lot of people screaming and yelling. No, you didn't hear any of that. I doubt it. It was too much. I mean, it, it probably sounded like several bombs going off. Yeah, probably. And everything caught in the middle and crushed. Okay. So, so you know, when people say, well, entire people groups survived after the flood, um, I'm not seeing that. You know, I'm not seeing it scripturally. Um, so, I mean, the flood is a whole different, it's, that's a whole subject, man. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, every yeah. subject of mine. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, it, it, it never said anything about, you know, just trickles of water drop down and slowly accumulate. You know how long that would take? <laughs> you know, it just uh, slammed down. It was crushing. It was terrible. 